Hi, I'm Dr. Raj, pulmonologist at the University of Southern California. Today we're going to be talking about the pulmonary complications of rheumatoid arthritis. I want to break this stereotype that rheumatoid arthritis is only a disease of the joint. It's not. It affects every single organ in your body, including the lungs. So let me talk about the five most common pulmonary diseases in rheumatoid arthritis. Number one, it's going to be the lung parenchyma, the body. Number two, the lining of the lung, known as the pleura. Number three, infections that you're predisposed to. Number four, the drugs that we use for rheumatoid arthritis damaging the lung. And finally, we'll discuss pulmonary hypertension. So let's start talking about that pulmonary fibrosis. It's going to be this scarring of the lung resulting from repeated inflammation just by having rheumatoid arthritis and nothing else. But remember, what also causes lung damage is going to be these nodules. You can get rheumatoid nodules anywhere in the body, but including the lungs. And when someone tells you, hey, you have a nodule in your lung, what do you think about? Well, most of my patients worry about cancer, and that's why it's so important. Another thing is going to be that lining of the lung called the pleura, and you could get a fluid that builds up in there known as an effusion, and it almost mimics a nasty, nasty infection. Another thing that could happen, whether it be your immune system being depressed from the rheumatoid arthritis or all these drugs suppressing your immune system, you're predisposed to infections in that pleural space called a complicated effusion, or you could get a pneumonia, and not just any pneumonia, you can get these opportunistic infections fungus, tuberculosis, bacteria, everything. And don't forget the drugs that we use, and there are so many, the classic one being methotrexate, but all these biologics, these tumor necrosis factor inhibitors will suppress your immune system. So let me show you what happens when you are on these drugs. When you see this CT scan, you know what? Common things are common. It looks like an infection of some kind, but it's not. It's a toxicity from the drugs using to treat your rheumatoid arthritis. Then we think about something called pulmonary arterial hypertension. This is going to be high blood pressure in the vessels right in your lungs that can lead to really, really bad shortness of breath. So if you're a patient with rheumatoid arthritis and you're complaining of shortness of breath, the answer may not be that simple. Go see your pulmonologist, go see your rheumatologist, and the Arthritis Foundation is a great resource as well. I'm Dr. Raj, your hometown MD, educating you today for a better outcome tomorrow.